Hello, I'm Ant Joblin and these are the top stories for the week ending the 5th of November 2021. Microsoft has made its pitch for the metaverse with the launch of Mesh for Microsoft Teams. The new service, which will begin in 2022, builds on Together Mode and Presenter View in Microsoft Teams to provide a mixed reality service, allowing people in different physical locations to join collaborative holographic environments. This space will allow for virtual meetings, chats and the sharing of documents, according to Microsoft. Much like Facebook's own recent metaverse business shift, Microsoft says the aim is to create a new version of the internet. A ransomware attack against a London-based jeweler's graph has led to the leak of 69,000 documents linked to accounts belonging to hundreds of high-profile celebrities. The attack, which is now being investigated by the Information Commissioner's Office, has been tied to Russian hacking group Conti, the same hackers blamed for a recent uptick in attacks across the US. It's believed 11,000 customers may be affected, according to the Mail on Sunday, including high-profile names such as ex-footballers David Beckham and Frank Lampard, former President Donald Trump and actors Tom Hanks and Samuel L. Jackson. Facebook has announced plans to shut down its facial recognition program, which was first revealed more than a decade ago. The company, which recently rebranded to Meta, said the move will mark the end of certain site functionality, such as automatic user detection in images. Acknowledging the situation as a complex social issue, Facebook said it wants to move away from the broad identification approach and instead use narrower forms of personal identification, such as helping users access locked accounts. Those who have opted in for facial recognition, thought to be more than a third of users, will no longer be automatically identified and their data will be removed. Meta believes this will result in more than a billion facial templates being deleted. That's it for this week's News in Review, but join us next time for more news from the world of IT.